The wearable device movement spawned digital fitness trackers and smartwatches for adults. Now it's invading the crib, targeting tech-enthused parents. But what are the safety concerns? WSJ Tech Editor Scott Austin joins us now. Scott, thanks so much for being here. Of course. Here. So tell us about these wearable, are they essentially baby monitors? Is that what they are? They essentially are. They're baby monitors that you attach to the baby mm -hmm. through the clothing. Uh, or in one case, it's like a booty or a sock that slips on and they contain uh, sensors that send data back to your smartphone and you're able to track uh, breathing and heart uh, rate and all sorts of data. And so when they're sleeping, you know when they are, are stirring, when they're awake, you know when they're yeah. crying. I don't know. Well, just, well, the, uh, yeah, what are they for exactly? <laughs> I sure. mean, if you're there with your kid, what are these things telling you that you can't see? Yeah, I mean, this is all kind of spawned from the whole wearable movement. Yeah. So we have Fitbits like I'm wearing today for, mm -hmm. for adults uh, that track fitness. Uh, now with babies, um, you know, one of the main things that some of these companies are trying to do is, is regulate uh, the uh, kind of oxygen levels and uh, really monitor whether the baby's breathing. People are concerned, of course, about sudden sudden death. Of course, uh, of infant course. death syndrome. So there's things like that, and then heartbeat, right? Um, perspiration, body temperature. But here's here's the big question: yeah. these things are not regulated, correct? So are they safe? What are the safety concerns? Well, there are a few regulations out there. Uh, really, um, the laws uh, for children under 12 uh, are really about toxic materials, about choking hazards. There really isn't any uh, law around uh, you know wearables and, and electronic gadgets that you attach uh, really to, to uh, newborns um, so that is a, a big concern right now with these companies is whether or not these uh, devices are safe or not and and so some of these companies say they I mean they all say that they have they do rigorous testing um, they're voluntarily giving the, the devices to uh, uh, Underwriter Laboratories, which is a, a nonprofit safety group. Has the medical community weighed in on these devices? Not really. It's no. so new. It's just mm -hmm. emerging right now. There's only a couple devices on the market. Um, Are they it, expensive? Uh, uh, the, um, the the smart sock made by Owlet is about two hundred and fifty dollars, mm -hmm. and the onesie, which contains a sensor that is placed on the side and a rechargeable battery, uh, that is about two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So again, you know some of these safety concerns. You're talking about rechargeable batteries. Uh, we've seen a you know, few instances in electronics where they overheat. You're a parent. You have a small child. That's Are right. you sold on these devices? I'm, I'm not sold. You're not no, sold. No, okay. I, I I just I don't like the idea of having batteries kind of a, again associated with the baby and so I think there just needs to be a lot more growth with this and a lot more testing yeah. before I'd be comfortable with it. I think I agree with you there. Scott Austin, <laughs> thank you so much.